CO2 is underperforming. This is a climate craze update on the performance of carbon dioxide. During December of 2021, NOAA made a three-month forecast for the months of January, February, and March. Red indicates above average forecast temperatures, and the blue indicates below average temperatures. NOAA obviously made a forecast for a warmer winter. Here is the verification or observed temperature data for January, February, and March, the same three-month period. This map clearly shows that overall, these three months produced a cooler than average winter. And here we see both maps together. They are available to the general public on NOAA's National Weather Service website. This website provides access to the Climate Prediction Center's forecast maps and verification archives. So, why do you think the forecast was for a warmer winter, but instead reality dealt a cooler winter? Probably because for the past 30 years, all the climate model forecasts have been way too hot. This red line is the average of all the forecast models, which shows skyrocketing temperature forecasts. But hey, don't pay attention to those blue and green lines. They are just reality. They represent the observed weather balloon and satellite temperature data. Those very hot forecast model projections are most likely due to the IPCC's seemingly religious belief that greenhouse gases actually control the climate. But if that's true, then that means carbon dioxide is underperforming. Well, look at this. Here's the latest official NOAA temperature data, which shows that we're currently in a six-year temperature pause, even though the CO2 concentrations continue to skyrocket upwards, just like those very hot IPCC forecast models. Looks like those IPCC models are more interested in producing fantasy forecasts instead of achieving reality. It's obvious that CO2 does not control our climate. The sun does that. CO2, however, helps improve life on Earth. And more is better because we are still in a CO2 famine.